In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use a texture map to color the points. So if we go back here, we get the original rubber toy. It's got a texture map on it. Now we're going to turn that off here because we don't need it for this part, but we will bring it back in a different way. First, we need to get that texture map. So what we're going to do is we're going to go under the asset menu and we're going to go edit asset properties and bring up this window. Click on the extra files tab and right at the top is the toy lowres.jpg and we're going to save as file. We're going to go to the texture directory and we're going to save that in there. By doing that, that will become available for us in what we do. Now once we've got that, we're going to go tab and we're going to create something called attribute vop. And this is a, a sort of a network within a network and it uses what's called um, VOP nodes or VEX operator nodes. And we're going to use that to transfer uh, the texture map to the geometry. So we're going to go in and say vertices because that's what we want to work with. And then we're going to double click in here. And this is a slightly different network type uh, and it works sort of horizontally. We're going to tab texture, so this will be a, allow us to bring in a texture map, and then we're going to wire that into color into color. So that's easy. So we've essentially added the color back in, but not at the material level. We're doing this uh, here at the VOP level. Now we're going to go tab UV coordinates, so we can pick up any UVs on that particular shape and use them to actually assign the texture. So we got that. Now. Once we have this, we're going to take one of the, the parameters here, the texture map, and we're going to promote that up. And you get that little yellow line there. If we click on that, we can change the label, and we're just going to call this texture map. Okay. And that gets promoted back up to the geometry level, that, that parameter. And you can do that with any parameter in VOPS. And you'll see it way down at the bottom there, texture map. And we'll use that a little bit later. We're going to go tab, and we're going to put something called attribute promote. We're going to put that down. So currently we have this as a, a vertice attribute. So we now want to go from vertice back to point, and we're going to take the color and move it back to the points. So that's going to do what we need there. And then we're going to do an attribute transfer. And the attribute transfer is going to take the volume cloud, and we're going to transfer that color attribute to it. Now we just have to make sure we have the right thing there, and then we're going to go tab switch, um, and we're going to give ourselves the chance to switch between the red color uh, and the texture mapped version of the color. And that's important because we're going to use that later to build the interface for this asset. And so if we go one, uh, we'll see, there we go, we've added those colors. Uh, if we go back to copy to points, we're just going to turn off that one option there and that'll line things back up. And there we go, we've taken the colors from the mandrel texture map, which is the um, default one. And now if we click on here, and we go get the toy texture map, you'll see that we've now recolored the rubber toy to look like the rubber toy. And all of that was done using this little VOP network that we created to transfer the information. And uh, yeah, that's a great way of uh, building up your network and getting more detail put in place.